Hi, good to see you all, welcome. Um, so today this has been um, a collaboration. I've got a guest spot with uh, Taslima Mayer Art. So you should have just watched the beautiful Taslima Mayer Art and her video. Up next after me is Sheldon. Uh, so I will put links to their channels in the description. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've got a guest spot, which is lovely. So I am going to do two creations. So it's two parts um, with the cloud pour again. So as it's Halloween, I'm going to be doing a Halloween color palette. Well, what I some of my favorite colors really. And I'm going to be do, using two different cloud pour mix, two that I've been working with. So I've now been developing my satin enamel. I, I never been able to get on with satin enamel. And a good example is this previous cloud straight pour that I did. Um, and I don't know if you can see that. Can you see this? This is what normally happens. I get this splitting. Now I've been doing it completely wrong. My cloud pour mixes with the satin enamel have always been too thick. Um, so I've gone back to my satin enamel. I've added my other ingredients to it. Um, and I've watered it right down. So I'm happy with that. I have done a practice with it. As you can see, I did put it on, um, on my Facebook page. Um, on a tile so I did a little practice so I don't know obviously there wasn't enough surface I put too much paint on but look at that that's the first time I've ever had that boulder cells come up so these are my colors so I'm going to put a black down here so I've got my viridian I've got this that I used in the last cloud pour I did in the last collaboration which is the uh, ultramarine uh, Prussian blue and oh, it's a sapphire blue by Deco Art. So it's still got to have that. So that's going to go in that. And then this purple, which I have added Deco Art Amethyst. Got a little bit more sheen as well. Uh, so there's my opaque colours. My semi-transparent are Amsterdam Vermilion. So one with slightly thicker consistency. And I've also got Amsterdam Copper, lovely metallic. So they might be a little bit too thick. And then I've got my Pabio Light Azo Yellow, which is transparent. Here we go.
just been sorting a few things out um, and already I can see the cells coming up and all the fluffiness here so I've just got to work out how I'm going to stretch it out I could leave it longer but I'm aware that there's paint already on the canvas from the previous creation it's going to probably lift up um, so if I see any lumps I won't touch them because <laughs> it's probably the previous creation coming up so I've given it a couple of torches so where am I going to go with this let's just do a little spin a little gentle spin let's do a little swirly around where the weight is there's a lot of paint on here but I think we've got enough just going to sort out the edges and then I'll bring you in for a close-up and then we'll get on with the second one okay so here's the close-up I really don't know what happened to my composition <laughs> it's just got some, got some cloud cells there just a small amount I love the lines my pleats I don't know what happened to them so anyway I'm happy with this satin enamel now um, still a work in progress I mean there's some there but I just it all came off and and you know, I love me little I call them tender reels but I know you call them fingerlings um, I've got some there so it's nearly there Anyway, I'm happy with it, so I'm going to do the uh, second one, um, second cloud pour, with my other cloud mixture, which is the uh, Liquitex and Vallejo. I think I've said that right now. Someone's told me how to pronounce it correctly. Vallejo. Um, so that will be the next creation. I'm hoping I've got enough colours do the same color palette so once these are dried we'll have them side by side as well at the end of the video so let's get on with the next one okay so on to the second one then uh, so this cloud pour mix is my valley ho uh, liquitex and amsterdam titanium white and, and water so i've made sure it's uh, it is on the very thin side and I've, I've changed my mind I'm not going to use the same colour palette as the one I've just done um, the dark Halloween colours I thought I'd go for a softer palette um, but I'm going to lay that one down first in, in the middle so I want to get rid of this lovely deep blue so I'm going with the Shuttle Art Viridian Viridian. I've got Amsterdam Sky Sky Blue Light. That's Jadeette by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. That 
is the vintage colour from the Shuttle Art range, that's going to be more water, um, orange. And I think I've got Deco Art 24 karat gold in there, I'm sure I have. Um, and I've got the, um, I can't remember what this is, it's a magenta. I think it's Fabio. And then there's a, a, a pink here as well. And I think that's, I think that's Artemisa. Anyway, we need using up. So I thought, let's go for those. I have a softer palette. That's gonna go in the cup first. Um, I can't remember what's transparent, opaque or, or what. So I'm just gonna go with the flow. Um, and then we'll do the reveal at the end. I I think the previous one is just about dry because I did that a couple of days ago. Um, there is a disaster on it that all will be revealed. Um, so let's crack on. extender on just a mishmash of leftover paints um, I like what I'm seeing look at all these like little tadpoles um, yeah so it has come to the surface the uh, cloud mix but it all depends how I how I um, what I do with this stretching out or spinning off I think I'm, I want to I'm, I want to just sort of like spin it rather than tilt it because that will ruin the composition. Um, I don't know. Anyway, shall I give it another torch? Just a quick little torch. actually while I was letting it do its thing I did give it a little spin out um, just to help it come to the surface so I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spin so fingers crossed Oh, 
tell me. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I know I've got a little bit in my dean. That's just the way I lay the paints. Oh, I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose that. I don't mind that going off and that going off and that going off. Um, oh, I didn't do this last time. I didn't check to see how much paint was left on there. Let's have a look. So I think I can just do it. Getting those corners off. Nighty ho. Here's the close-up. Look at that. That is the best results I have had so far. I'm absolutely thrilled with the lines. With the lines. The middle didn't really do much, it didn't open up or <laughs> didn't quite happen there, but um, I just felt it just needed to spin and not tilt because uh, you'll see the, well, you saw the other one, but look at that. it's the results that I was these are the sort of results I'm aiming for and the rest will sort of all fit into place as, as I learn more so um, absolutely gorgeous so I went for that this softer color palette um, because when I was mucking around practicing my actual cloud pour mix um, See if I can get this in shot. It, yes, it did crack, but I didn't. Uh, it, this is my little sample. Um, but you can see I poured on, a, on 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 top of another old creation. You can see where it's cracked, but I didn't tilt it off or anything. So, but I just love that colour palette. So, I, sorry about the angle. It's just that it's so zoomed in. I'm standing up and. Uh, now, so let's do the comparison then. So that's the results of this one. Brilliant results, for me anyway. Um, and then the one I did earlier, over here, and I'm gonna own up there's complete, not a complete disaster, but what happened was, again, as before, it was on a previous old creation. I, I didn't get enough paint off. I didn't test that there was enough paint off. I didn't. I didn't have enough paint on the canvas to begin with for the creation um, and it's just cracked down here as you can see a um, little bit of cracking over there um, that stayed nothing else developed love the lines a bit more splitting up there as you can see and cracking um, a little bit of fluffy clouds over there but again splitting cracking along the edge but that's my own fault rushing all in haste uh, so let me know in the comments which version you like so this was the satin enamel this one was the satin enamel cloud mix and then this one over here is the Vallejo and Liquitex paints were a little bit on the thinner side so let me know what you think so comparison mm, keep working on it so um, 
I'm a little more com I'm more confident now to use the satin enamel cloud cloud mix so I will carry on using it here and there um, I do love this color palette the Halloween color palette uh, it's not quite Halloween colors um, love those bits there so there we go so thank you all for joining me uh, up next is Sheldon Briscoe of Sherlock Art um, do go over, well I know you all go over and, and watch him because he does wonderful stuff so um, thank you all for joining me and I will see you soon, bye